The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find regulations in Westlaw Next. Let's first take a look at how to find regulations using the search bar at the top of the screen. You can use the search bar to find regulations in three ways, by source name, by citation, and by keywords. No matter which method you choose, it's always good practice to limit the jurisdiction you are searching using the jurisdictional box to the right of the search bar. Let's first try to find a regulation by source name. If I want to find a regulation in the Code of Federal Regulations, all I need to do is type Code of Federal Regulations into the search bar, and then click on it in the drop-down menu. From there you can use the search bar to search by keywords, or you can browse the table of contents. You can also do this for the Federal Register or state regulations, like Georgia. Now let's try to find a regulation by citation. You enter your citation, click search, and your regulation should appear. This also works for a Federal Register citation. Now let's try to find a regulation by keywords. In this case, I want to find the regulations that apply to making FOIA requests with the Central Intelligence Agency. I enter my terms, click search, and a list of results will appear. You can narrow down the list of results to just regulations by clicking on Regulations under View. From there you can restrict the results by several other criteria under Narrow. So that is the three methods for finding regulations using the search bar. Now let's look at how to find regulations using the Browse box. To find regulations using the All Content tab, you would first click on Regulations. Now if you were to perform a search using the search bar, you will be searching across only regulations. You can narrow your search using the jurisdictional box located to the right of the search bar, or you can select a jurisdiction from the list below. You will notice that each time you click on a database, the search bar will change to search only that set of materials. You can use the Federal Materials tab to quickly access the Code of Federal Regulations or the Federal Register. Using the State Materials tab, you can first choose a jurisdiction and then access its regulations. The last tab we will look at is the Topics tab. Once you select a topic, in this instance we will select Family Law, you can see that Family Law regulations are located third on the page. This is a combined database of all of the regulations on family law. If you wanted to limit regulations to a specific jurisdiction, you could use the jurisdictional box or select the jurisdiction from the list provided. Now that we know how to find a regulation, let's explore what a regulation looks like in Westlaw next. Let's first take a look at what a regulation would look like in the Federal Register. The caption will provide you with the citation, the executive department or agency, which part of the CFR is being updated, and the date it was published in the Federal Register. Action is important to be aware of because it will tell you if you are looking at a proposed or a final rule. It is also important to always look for the effective date of the regulation. Finally, at the end of the table of contents for this regulation, you will find which statute granted authority to the agency or department to create these regulations. Now let's look at a regulation in the Code of Federal Regulations. The tabs located across the top of the regulation are useful for expanding upon your research or gaining a better understanding behind the meaning of the regulation. Notes of Decisions includes cases that have explained or applied the regulation. History and citing references are both components of the key cite function. It should be noted that citing references include cases and other sources that have affected the validity of the section. Context and analysis provide you with a list of law reviews and journals, library references, and other secondary sources that have provided analysis of the section. Just below the tabs are two important functions, sections and table of contents. The sections function lets you flip between sections of the CFR. The table of contents function lets you access the table of contents of the CFR. Now let's look at the actual regulatory section. This includes the citation, the name of the section, the text of the regulation, and the source information. The source provides you with history information, such as when the regulation was passed and amended, along with references to the Federal Register. In some regulations, the statutory authority will also be provided. At the end of the regulation, you will find another link for the notes of decisions, in addition to information on how current the regulation is in Westlaw Next. 
That is it for your overview of how to find regulations in Westlaw Next.